Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be comparing the 3 star, the 4 star, and the 5 star versions of the electrical weapons for Chen Sing to see whether or not is it worth investing in this 4 star weapon for her because you actually need five copies in total of this weapon which means you need 1500 of these lucky coins in order to max this thing out so we're going to see whether or not you really need to max it out uh should you max it out should you invest in this thing and we're going to discuss it a little bit but before we get in that guys i do want to talk a little bit about the weapons and the differences between them so the first thing guys is the three star weapon gives a solid electrical damage by 25 percent whereas when you take a look at the other weapons let me go ahead and kind of sift through this a little bit here when you take a look at the other weapons this weapon here actually gives increased attack by 20 percent and after shot hits a weak spot further increased attack by 20 percent for five seconds which means you get a total of 40 percent extra attack and then the limited weapon of course we all know this is going to be the kingdom come increased electrical damage by 18 percent your critical damage amplifier by 12 percent which is going to multiply your critical hit damage and then, you know, having the uh, Crimson Cloud stacks is going to increase your damage tenfold. And then you get an attack increase by 21%. So this thing is just massive. Something that I also want you guys to notice is that this says 24.8%. This weapon says 18.2%. And then this weapon says 17.9%. So that's something you're going to notice about all these weapons. You can see this is at tier 5. This is at tier 5. And this is only at tier one, right? With the limited weapons, you only get one copy to modify it, and then you can max it out. Whereas with these other weapons, you can actually take them up to tier five. And whenever you ascend these weapons, that's also going to be another difference in them. So if you take a look at the compatibility, this says 25.9% right and all these weapons are at level 50 we have 25.9 percent compatibility and when you look at this one we have 27.6 percent compatibility and then on the limited weapon we actually have you know 25.9 percent compatibility so it's pretty interesting that the four star weapon has the highest compatibility of all of them and what that means guys is the higher compatibility that you have the more damage per shot that you're actually going to do so it's pretty interesting that the four star weapon has the highest compatibility of all three of these weapons and of course the limited weapon is just going to have higher attack than the five star weapons right with the 18.2 and then of course the three star with the 17.9 these are going to be some big differences now this here actually will always be enacted whereas with this weapon here you're going to have to aim really well with it you're always going to have to hit them weak spots in order to do the most damage possible and the uh limited weapon it really doesn't matter i mean obviously guys when you hit the weak spots of an opponent you're gonna do double the damage no matter what as long as you're doing headshots you're just gonna do a lot more damage so that is always something to keep in mind but with this weapon here with the four star version you really have to be good at aiming with this thing in order to get it done so let's take a look at the comparisons and talk about it all right so the first little comparison that we have here guys is we're actually going to be showing some gameplay uh we're gonna do a little slow-mo so you guys can actually see this but this is the three star and this is at tier five and i want you to look at the damage that this thing does right you'll notice that this weapon is hitting some pretty good numbers it actually has done about one about 1400 damage uh which is really really good 1400 damage so that's something we need to remember whenever it comes to this thing you know 1400 damage and what we're going to do is we're actually just going to play the entire round to see how long this actually takes with the three star weapon to do this. Now, this Hella is only a 3000 point Hella, only a level 60 Hella. That way we could just get it done and try to get, you know, an assessment of, you know, what is the difference between these uh, weapons as far as like a longevity run, right? Wherever you're doing a fairly, you know, decent run to see, you know, what is the real difference between them. But you can see the three star weapon is actually performing really well. Although do remember that my Chensing is at level 69. That makes a huge, huge difference, guys, in the amount of power that you're delivering. But I really just want to show you guys the difference between all of these weapons, especially max out at tier five. And then of course the limited weapon just being tier one. You know what the difference is between all these same runs, right? So we're just about to finish this thing. We're going to get it done. And let's take a look at how long this actually took with the three star weapon at tier five. So as you guys can see, it took a minute and four seconds to do this run. A minute and four seconds. All right. So that's something to keep in mind. And remember, as we go through this, 
and check out some more of these little comparisons we do. So now you're looking at five star weapon and a four star tier one weapon. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause and discuss this a little bit. So the five star weapon does around 1,950 damage. If you guys are paying attention and the four star tier one weapon, guys, that means you only pull the weapon one time. You do not modify it. You do not level it up. That weapon is actually doing, you know, around 1,480 damage. So you got 1,480 damage uh, on a critical hit uh, per shot on the right side, and you have 1,950 on the left side. So that's a pretty big difference. And remember, with the three-star weapon, we actually was doing around 1,400 damage. So this already indicates and lets you know that the four-star weapon at tier one is pretty similar to the three-star weapon when it's fully maxed out. So let's, read, let's go on a little bit further here, right? We just kind of finish this up a little bit and then we go into the uh next comparison here where we're actually going to show the four star tier five weapon and a four star tier three weapon and i'm going to go ahead and pause again and discuss the kind of damage numbers that these uh, uh weapons are actually doing so the four star tier five weapon is actually doing around 1800 damage whenever you're hitting those weak spots and the four star tier three weapon is doing around 1,750 damage. So there's not a huge difference between the tier three and the tier five weapon. I want you to keep that in mind. And remember the three star weapon does around 1,400 damage. So there's a big, big difference already between the four star at tier three versus the three star completely max out. There's already a big difference in the damage between the weapons right and now remember you always have to hit the weak spots guys to do the most damage and that four star weapon just benefits so much from it now you're seeing a four star uh tier five weapon versus a five star weapon right and again i'll go ahead and pause it the four star tier five is going to be doing about 1800 damage and the five star weapon is going to be doing about 1950 damage so there is a little bit of difference we're doing about 150 uh per shot more with the five star weapon versus the four star max out weapon you know at tier five right where you need four more copies after you pull the weapon in order to get it to tier five right but the damage guys is it's pretty similar i mean obviously the five star weapon is stronger it is doing a damage uh, a bit more damage and what does that equate to well that's exactly what i'm going to show you guys we're going to see just how long it actually takes to clear this entire run i already showed you in slow-mo what these weapons do as far as their damage around per shot but we want to see how long it takes. Now, remember, with the three-star maxed out tier five weapon, we actually did this in a minute and four seconds, okay? So let's take a look and see what the five-star weapon did and the four-star tier five weapon did as far as how long this actually took, all right? So we're just going to wait a little bit and let this show up here. All right, let's go ahead and pause it. So the four-star level five weapon did this in 50 seconds, and the four-star weapon did this in 45 seconds. Now, guys, there's always a lot of variables in these. If I'm not hitting that head as much as I need to, then I'm not going to do as much damage as I need to, right? So there's always little differences, but the fact that that four-star tier five weapon was within five seconds of the five-star weapon is a feat of strength. That is insane. That is a lot of damn damage. That's really, really good. But what does that equate to, right? What does that equate to? Well, this run that you're actually watching right now is when the boss is at level 90 and whenever, you know, we have 7,000 points going on. I'm using the four star weapon at tier five in this run. Now I put out a video just yesterday of the limited weapon being used and I actually cleared this in four minutes and 47 seconds, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna see in this long gated run, what is the difference between this four star weapon and the five star weapon as far as like, you know, in a really high difficulty stage and then we'll talk about the three-star weapon and how it actually compares to it right but as you guys can see it's actually doing really good and again my chin zing's at the same level uh level 69 as she was in the past video that i did i didn't do any difference and i'm playing it the same way where i'm trying to take down those rear arms of hella now do keep something in mind guys with the four-star weapon those arms aren't really considered weak spots 
uh, Hella's head is actually a weak spot, and that's where we're going to do the most damage, where we're going to get the most buffs. But I always find, at least for me, whenever I take out those rear arms and get rid of the uh, spinning cues that it likes to throw at us, it just makes my life a lot easier, is trying to get this clear and actually trying to do it. All right? But, uh, yeah, so we're just going to keep on moving along, keep on moving along, right? And there she destroyed that thing, right? And now we're doing those headshots. We're getting it done. Flying the damage. And this is really where this weapon really shines, is hitting those weak spots, right? Hitting that head, doing those headshots, uh, or you like uh, the falconer boss, maybe hitting the rear of the boss, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever weak spots are on those actual opponents is where you're going to be doing the most damage. And guess, yeah, as you're seeing some text on the screen, because I did record this on my live stream last night. But uh, old girl is actually doing really, really well. Now, remember, with the five-star weapon, I did this exact same clear in four minutes and 47 seconds. Now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of fast forward and move a little bit toward the end here. There we go. And just kind of let it play out a little bit. So, you know, we don't have it as long a video as what we really need to and discuss, you know, you know, really whether or not you really should pull for that four-star weapon, where they really should get it, right? But uh, you can see, guys, that we are kind of running short on time. We do have a bit of life left on Hella. And again, guys, there's always variables in these runs as far as, you know, how well you can actually do. Maybe I played better with the limited rifle. Maybe I had a better run with that rifle compared to this one. Maybe that's what's making the difference. I mean, that's very, very possible. But this really just provides some perspective on how strong this weapon actually is. Now, let me go ahead and pause it. I want to just back it up a little bit. And I want you guys to take a look at how much life we actually have left on Hella. That is not much life, right? Now, this took the full run, which is actually five minutes, right? So already 13 seconds longer. And that little bit of life that you're seeing on Hella would probably take me another 40, 45 seconds. So you're looking about at a minute difference between the four-star weapon at tier five versus the limited weapon at tier one. About a minute difference between them. Now, what does that equate to for the three-star weapon? Well, if this four-star weapon that does around 1,800 damage per shot at level 50 compared to the electrical weapon that actually does 1,400 damage per shot, I mean, 1,400 versus 1800 per damage that is a big big difference that is 400 difference in damage per shot and if you have this weapon actually at level three if you just get three copies of it in total that is still 1750 damage per shot it is still around 350 more damage per shot on critical hits versus this weapon so in my opinion the four star weapon actually is performing very well and it definitely is a lot stronger than the three-star weapon. It does a lot more damage. The caveat to the four-star weapon is the fact that you always got to be hitting the weak points on the enemy. But let's be honest. Any weapon that you use, you're always going to be trying to hit the weak spots on the enemy. That is what good players do. They're always going to go for those weak spots so that way they can do double the damage. So that way they can always hit those critical hits. So in my opinion, this thing is a lot better. But it does take a lot of resources in order to level this thing up. I mean, you're going to need five copies in total, which means you're going to need 1,500 coins. Now, whether or not you're going to be able to acquire 1,500 coins in total, I don't really know in all honesty, guys. Like, we have 35 days left of this update at the time of the recording of this video, and there has been some game modes that has been reset, like the Towers of Dispute, that does give a lot more of these uh, coins. So maybe you could do it, but even if you get that weapon at tier three, guys, even if you get this thing, if you just get three copies of this thing, it's still going to be way better than that three-star weapon. It's still going to do a lot more damage than that three-star weapon. So I would think at a minimum, since they gave us 300 coins for this, maybe you could go ahead and spend 900 coins in total, at least try to get the tier three. But if you're able and you don't have the limited weapon, obviously, if you have the limited weapon, then you really don't need this weapon. Here, the four-star weapon, unless you want to level up your four-star Chen Sing. But if you don't have the limited weapon, I would really recommend trying to get this weapon to 
uh, tier three. That way you're going to be doing, you know, quite a bit more damage than what you can actually do with the three star weapon. If you only pull this weapon once, guys, again, it's only it's going to do about 1,480 damage whenever you do a critical hit, hitting a weak spot, at least a level 50 with the current build that I have on my Chen Sing versus a three star that does 1,400. So really at tier one, there really isn't much of a difference between this weapon and a three star level tier five weapon. But again, when this weapon is at tier three, three copies in total, it's going to do about 350 more damage per shot. If you're willing to take it up to tier five, it will do about 1800 per shot and maybe a little bit more in all honesty, guys. I think it actually hit around 1900. So really, if you can get it to tier five, that might be the way to go. But maybe you just want to save your coins, wait till the very end of this event, see how many coins you have, and then really assess how many of these you actually should pull. But hopefully this will help you decide as to whether or not you know you should pull for this weapon and how many copies you should actually get. So let me know how y'all doing in the game. Let me know if this helps you out. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. to give us some time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.